its importance to fostering and deepening our partnership through strengthening our structured bilateral mechanisms. And so it is in this regard that I look forward to co-hosting the 17th ITEC session during the first quarter of this year. I look forward as well to the implementation of our commitments as discussed in our meeting and to us having a continued closer working relationship. I must say when we first met and I heard that growl, I didn't think we would become friends, but I believe we are friends now. Our goal is to work unrelentingly toward the upliftment of our respective nations and to do so through the instruments of foreign policy that we have at our disposal. I believe our shared goal is to witness a significant and greater increase in economic, social, cultural, people-to-people -people, and scientific interactions between our countries. We've had the opportunity to review the status of some of the currently outstanding agreements and have reiterated our commitments in areas where some work remains to be done. I must thank you most sincerely for the additional scholarships that you announced that would be made available to young South African uh, undergraduate students. I believe most importantly, we should encourage our colleagues in other departments to be responsive to the issues that we have identified as important for advancing our bilateral cooperation. I look forward to welcoming you and your delegation back to South Africa in the not too distant future for our BRICS meetings. And I wish you continued good health and a safe return home and a longer stay in South Africa next time you visit. And now, Minister, hand back to you and thank you for this most wonderful meeting. Thank you very much. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, at the outset, let me sincerely thank once again our South African friends, personally, South African President Ramaphosa and uh, Minister of International Relations and uh, International Cooperation, Nala Dipanda, for the hospitality extended to us. We have stated a progressive development of Russian South African relations based on a solid historical foundation. We have welcomed the consolidation of contacts between different ministries and agencies, the expression of uh, interparliamentary and interparty exchanges. In particular, I'm talking about uh, our uh, party or Russia, the United Russia and uh, the African National Congress. We have agreed to intensify our work in a whole range of areas in order to uncover fully the broad potential of our ties, especially in the area of economics. We have decided to intensify the preparation for the 17th regular mixed uh, intergovernmental committee on trade and economic cooperation. Mada Panda is its co-chair on the part of South Africa on the uh, our part is the Minister of Natural Resources and Ecology, Mr. Kozlov. Special attention at this meeting will be paid to the cooperation in energy, science and technical areas, as well as to the issues of transport and other kinds of infrastructure, the cooperation in the peace exploration of outer space. We have paid today special attention to the need to broaden and develop humanitarian ties there is a demand for that in our countries. Our peoples are very interested in uh, developing contacts. We have agreed to increase uh, the number of uh, scholarships provided to us as African colleagues in the framework of the federal budget of Russia. 
We've talked a lot about relevant international issues. Our countries are subsequent advocates of a more fair, inclusive, democratic and polycentric architecture of the world order, which would be based on the main principles of the UN Charter, the respect for the sovereign equality of all the states. And we are obviously speaking in favor for the increasing role of uh, the South African Union uh, on all platforms, including in the context of the discussion regarding the reforming of the Security Council. We have uh, discussed our partnership in the UN in its different, different commissions and structures in G20, in the OPCW, in the framework of the Kimberley process. As for G20, we are in favor of the interest of African countries to be represented in this structure as the African Union, in addition to uh, the current members. We have discussed in details our cooperation in the framework of BRICS. We all agree that this structure is an example of a truly multilateral and multipolar diplomacy based on a search for a balance of interests. We share the priorities of South African uh, chairmanship that started on the 1st of uh, January and will take place under the motto partnership for rapid growth, sustainable development, and inclusive multipolarity. I would like to wish our colleagues success in the implementation of the outlined plans. And of course, we will facilitate their putting into practice. We have exchanged notes regarding the settlement of the existing conflicts on the African continent, including in the Great Lakes region, in the Central African Republic, in South Sudan, in Mali. In the northern part of Mozambique, we have the same opinion. We believe that uh, the Africans are to define for themselves the solutions to these problems on the continent. And we highlight the active role of uh, South Africa and its president uh, in a whole number of crisis situations. And the international community is to support the ways of settlement chosen by African countries themselves including in the framework of the African Union and different sub-regional organizations. Russia will be actively helping to normalize the situation in hot bands of tensions through the consolidation of peacekeeping potential of African countries. We are ready to train them. In our country, we provide equipment to the relevant missions of the African Union and other organizations. We are interested in consolidating our dialogue regarding the development of the partnership between Russia and the African Union. I've already mentioned that. And with other leading sub-regional organizations, including with those where South Africa is an active member, we've also discussed the preparation for the second summit Russia-Africa that will take place at the end of July this year in St. Petersburg. We assume that it's results will be based on the work we have already done after the first summit uh, in autumn 2019 in Sochi and will enable our ties to reach new horizons. We hear a big interest on behalf of our African friends to, uh, in making this event successful. Upon the request of my colleagues, we have discussed in details the course of the special military operation in Ukraine, which is aimed at saving civilians and preventing the creation of direct threats to the Russian security near our border. And that is something that the US and the NATO allies have been doing for years. We appreciate the independent, well-balanced and considered approach by our South African friends. In general, I believe the talks have been very fruitful and they have confirmed that in our relations there are good perspectives and I'm sure that the implementation of the agreement that we have reached today will give a new impetus to the mutually beneficial cooperation between our countries in the whole range of areas. Thank you for the attention.
Thank you very much, Большое спасибо um, ваше превосходительство. Мы заслушаем вопросы госпожа Софа Маквена, компания SABC Южноафриканская. Thank you so much, Sophie Mkwena from the SABC, uh, South African Broadcasting Corporation. My question is directed to both Minister Pando and uh, Minister Lavrov. The world is looking forward to hear good news in terms of the end to this current conflict or war in Ukraine. Earlier on, Minister Lavrov pointed out that uh, Russia is willing to engage. Uh, are we likely to see the peace process very soon? And if so, in terms of mediation, who will be better placed to assist these two countries to come to the negotiating table?